nothing but the dog in me. I dropped it. Good evening and welcome to Pound Posse Presents, where this is live TV and these things happen. <laughs> <laughs> With me tonight, uh, I am very happy to have back Allison Metcalf. Hi. And Jameson of Jameson's Journey. Thank you very much for making a trip down tonight. Thank you. Thank you for having us. I'm always so happy to see you guys. <laughs> um, Jameson has a lot going on. Uh, he actually has had a very um, exciting, but maybe not that not right the right word. Life, yeah. Um, eventful. Eventful. Eventful yeah. is probably a better word. Um, for anyone who is not familiar uh, with Jameson's story, uh, let's start at the beginning and just recap uh, Jameson's story. Uh, February of 2014, he was uh, brutally beaten by his former owner and then tossed in the back of a pickup truck, driven across town, and dumped over a snowbank because he thought he had killed him. Um, through a series of fortunate events, um, that man was arrested and he agreed to be cooperative at that point and show us where he had put Jameson. Uh, we thought we were going to go recover a deceased dog and uh, turned out that Jameson was actually alive. So he was clinging to life with a fractured skull. We rushed him to the animal hospital, a couple of us from the police department, and he, uh, he survived, he needed a craniotomy. And now he's, he's a, an ambassador for animal abuse awareness. Now we do have uh, some pictures of Jameson. Uh, Zach, let's put those up. <laughs> that that's just a little stink eye. I could you sent that over and I couldn't resist that one. Yeah, he's winking um, at the ladies. That's that's pretty much Jameson now. <laughs> but Jameson before, uh, let's flip it over there, Zach, was not really easy to look at. No, um, that was that was tough. It was tough. Yeah, uh, you know, and the words over the picture uh, say never give up and really you never gave up on him. No. No. Uh, you were there when he was found, and he became yours, and together you are on an amazing mission. Let's get the next picture up. You know, there's a clearer picture of um, Jameson after his, after his surgery, yep. and uh, he's actually, he's got a book now, and he's, he does all kinds of really cool things. We do fun stuff. Yeah, you, you do. You, you do all kinds of things in, uh, by way of trying to pay it forward uh, at this point to other animals. We do. Uh, let's take the camera back. Now, pretty much the first thing you did was the book, right? Yes. Well, well we had the, we, we, there was so many people that had donated to help save him. Um, so his Facebook page was started. And then there was so many local people who wanted to meet him and see for themselves that he was okay. So we figured we would do a, you know, a small little meet and greet, a barbecue, which turned into this, you know, hundreds of people showing up to meet him. And w instead of, in lieu of uh, selling event tickets or, you know, fundraiser ticket or whatever, we um, asked people to bring a, you know, gently used blanket or towel or new and a bag of food or a gift card or a toy, something that we could then turn around and donate to local shelters. So that was the first thing. And then, and then we wrote the, the, the book um, so that we could teach children through a, a gentle way, you know, it's wrong to hurt animals. Right. And we have a copy of the book that we can show everybody. And it's, it's meant to be a children's book. Yes. And it's, it's got a really cool picture of Jameson, uh, kind of Jameson, on the front. Yep. And uh, I think that that alone is really cool. Um, yeah, it was, it's been, you know, I, I, I did it almost, sorry, James. I did it almost as a, Jameson. you know, let's see, let's see what happens and yeah. see if we can, we can help. Because, it, you know, a lot of, it starts with the kids. It does. And so we figured if we could do something good in, in that respect, that it would 
you know, help lots of other animals. Yeah, you so. know, if you, if you teach children uh, better ways of right. dealing with animals, then they grow up into more responsible adults yeah, right. with their animals. And, you know, a lot of times, unfortunately, it's example. Yes. You know, I mean, it's got to start somewhere. Right. And the changes have to happen. He's being really good tonight. I'm so proud of him. Hi. So you also put up a website. Yes, we have his, his Facebook page of Jameson's Journey. Um, you can follow the daily lives of Jameson and his siblings, and and it's highly entertaining. Yeah, <laughs> yeah because it's you, you have you have quite the crew. Yeah, my little goof troop. Um, <laughs> the uh, but he also now has a, a website that's probably about ninety percent done. Uh, one little black dog. Hi, baby boy. How nice that he's um. He's not barking at me this time. No, he's quiet tonight. That's good. I like that. He's I like come that a long a lot way better. in the last few years. Yeah, I mean, he's had a lot to contend with, yeah. and clearly he landed in the right place, and that's where the magic starts I like to, to think happen. So. Um, so, as part of some of the the things that uh, you've done, you did something, and you know, when you shared it with me, when it was like in the works, I was so excited because it's like far too cool. Oh, Jameson, you're rubbing all <laughs> over the feet and the carpet. Good for you. Be comfortable, my boy. Oh, he's owning my feet. That's too funny. You're so silly. Like you don't need those dogs at home. I'll no, just I'll just own you. you. Yes, you can own me, Jameson, because you're really cute. Uh, so anyway, you you shared with me this project that you're working on, and that's another thing that I just I was like, oh my god, that's so amazing. I couldn't wait to see you guys like at an event the first time yeah. to, to to check it out um, myself. Uh, Zach, let's get up the treat truck. That thing <laughs> kills me. And this picture, um, there's a lot of familiar faces in it. Yep. Um, I don't even know what event, I don't think that was an event I was at. Was it Kane's? Uh, maybe it was Kane's. Um, you know, you've got Hannah and Donna, and you've got Juno and Deb, and you've got Rich and Hudson, you've yep. got Winter, uh, go ahead, oh, Tanya and Oliver. And uh, Madison and her mom and yeah, we just got a Deb's Deb's great because she'll organize the picture. Yeah, when she's like, all right, all group go. photo, yeah. group photo. Come on, yep. let's get get, let's yep, get yeah. over here, group, and you, yep. and you march. I, I remember yeah. at um, the Sweet Pea uh, Halloween one. Yeah, uh, I was over literally making a purchase with a vendor, <laughs> and she's like, no, 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 you got to come back for this. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm coming. Yeah, group photo. I'm it's glad fun. she does that though because we have so many great pictures from all the events that we all attend together. We do, and you know, sometimes you almost forget, like, wait, who was there? And yeah, you know, it, it's it's a really nice um, keepsake. Yeah, uh, and we probably, you know, something we should probably make all of us a collage of all these events and the pictures that we take because yeah. that would be neat. That would that be. That would be really neat. Send out like a joint Christmas card yeah. or something. Anyway, next picture of this truck. Uh, there you have uh, Jameson himself. Yeah, well, he's manning the window. Yep, he's manning the window and taking orders. <laughs> and um, it's too funny. Next one, Zach. There you go, the long shot. Uh, totally tricked out to be able to, um, you guys, you guys do treats and ice cream, um, and, ice cream yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. And um, any proceeds do go to help other animals. Yep. And so that's just a really, it was a really cool venture. And yeah, you know, that's, it's, it's fun. I think it's, uh, you know, we're, st we're still, it needs to be a little more, it can't go on the highway, which, you know, being a girl with an old van didn't really notice at first. <laughs> so that's a little bit of a, a thing that we have to overcome and, and try to work around. But well, it's fun when we get it th to, to different places. Oh yeah, I mean, I wish that uh, you could bring that uh, down and around here uh, without having to, as you said, you get it trailered or whatever. Um, yeah, we, we'll drive it locally, but if it's, you know, if we... If you have to get on the highway, you're sunk. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. We, we, we have a friend that'll, we can rope into towing it for us. Yeah, so, so you know, you kind of got to stay local for now, but uh, what do we have next, Zach? Yep. And here are actually some of the treats. Yep, those are his uh, little signature cookies. I don't know if you can, I can't see it from this far away, but there's a little JJJ for Jameson, Jamie James on, on the bone cookie. Oh, that's cute. And yep. you've got other ones. That's the ice cream. That's the peanut butter ice cream with the little tapioca sprinkles. Aw. And we've got another picture. And that's the pumpkin ice cream. 
and and that's just really cool. And you make all these. Yep. You actually make all these. I mean, what all you're grain doing. All grain-free, natural, yeah. no additives. What you're doing, we'll, if that's the end, we'll take the camera back. Oh, and the bag. Yeah. Can't forget the bag. <laughs> that's just too adorable. All right, now we'll take the camera back. Um, you really put a lot of love into what you do. Um, oh, it's fun. And a lot of time. Yeah. And, you know, it, it's all part of, like we were saying, pawing it forward and, yep. and um, trying to help the next animal and raise awareness. Yes. Um, you guys, uh, like you said at the Jubilee, you, you, you can distribute stuff that you collect to yes. other shelters, yep. to, well, not that you are a shelter, you make it sound like you're a shelter, to shelters, <coughs> to uh, organizations in need of, of, of yes. stuff. Um, so Jameson is definitely out there um, as a presence and, um, you know, just as an ambassador for animals having a better life. Yes. And a lot of stuff we do is, is behind the scenes. You know, I'll get a phone call or a message saying, hey, I have this, you know, carload of food. Who needs it? Or can you, you know, do you know anybody that needs it? And I always I know love somebody those that, calls. Yeah, that, that I needs it. I get them, and, too, yeah. yeah. So I feel like sometimes I'm just a middleman, but that's okay because, you know, we're helping. Well, absolutely. I mean, I remember years ago, um, a place where I worked, there was, like, a pallet of dog food yep. cans. Yep. And I was like, you hold that, I will be right there. Yeah. And, like, we, like, forklifted that in my friend's pickup truck, yep. brought it to her store, and I put it out there, you know, who needs it? Yep. And we divvied it up among, you know, how many shelters. And yep. it just felt so good to know that does, yeah. somebody's belly was going to be full yep. because I helped, you know. Yep. And it's not, it's never a pat yourself on the back thing. It's always from the heart. Yep. And that's just, that's just the most important thing. Jameson, you're a silly what man. Are you, you are such a silly man. And one of the events that you, you have that supports what you do is the Jubilee. Yes. Um, your, your first get together kind of turned into an every year kind of thing. Yes. Um, yeah, this so will be the fourth annual. You have it coming up on June 11th. Yes. And let's get the poster up for that, Zach. Jameson's Jubilee, and there's the famous treat truck. Yep. Um, I love that thing. That, that to me, I mean. It really does look cool, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. It looks amazing. I love the old, I love old vehicles. Yeah. Um, with all my heart and soul and you know the paw prints on it and the color is like perfect yeah I mean you just did you, such an amazing it came out job good, yeah. I love it it, was a, it wasn't just me there was a, a collective effort that went into getting that thing ready yeah and you know if, if, where would you be without a little bit of help every now and then right exactly oh I have a, an amazing group of people that you know I know I couldn't do everything that we do without the group of people that I have. Yeah, and we, we will get to a couple of pictures of some people that do help you. Um, but let's talk a little bit about the Jubilee. Um, what kind of things do you have going on? We've got the poster up. Yeah, we've got the, the treat, trunk, treat truck will be there. Um, we usually have a bounce house for kids. We started a dunk tank last year. Um, you know, there's food loaded potatoes which are delicious <laughs> and uh, we have amazing amazing raffle table and every year uh, a few people donate big items to us um, this year it's going to be one of those you know those outside heater things that are really tall like a looks like a lamp post yeah 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 I don't know what the proper name for it is I don't either um, but, but you, you've got some good of, stuff yeah yeah which which is cool um, people spend so much time and effort into the the beautiful raffle baskets we get and we're so appreciative because every year we look at them we're like look oh, at that yeah. i want that yeah you know? <laughs> and it's like you know oh my god somebody actually thought that up yeah or you know they put are so much effort into yeah. it and it, they're so beautiful and we're so thankful and and you know it's it's just so nice when people pour their heart and soul yeah like i said into the things that they do so this is going to be from noon to four on june 11th mm -hmm. and it's going to be held where at the ludlow elks club on chapin street Okay, and that's in Ludlow, Mass. Yes. Okay, because remember, you're you're in Connecticut. True. You're in Connecticut, I'm a my far dear. Away. <laughs> so we have to be perfectly uh, clear on uh, what we're what we're talking about here. All right. So now we do have a couple pictures with your with your group and your volunteers. Zach, let's get those together. Um, yeah, there's a couple people missing out of that that picture. They weren't they were away at the time, but. Um, 
Well, it's the with picture you, you sent me. <laughs> I, I know, I know. Well, they weren't there for the picture. I just okay. I wanted to make mention that there are more people that they just weren't there that, that day. So. And we've got another one, Zach. You've got like um, that was the very first mission, if you want to call it, that we undertook. Okay. We sat at um, Dave's for two hours on a Saturday morning, I think, for a uh, barn full of feral cats that somebody had just abandoned there. They abandoned the house and oh. abandoned all the cats, and they kept procreating. And now of there's course. kittens and more cats. And, uh huh. Um, so when the ACO found out about it, um, I'm like, yeah, sure. Let me see what I can do to help. And so put a call out to all Jameson's friends and we had I think it was six or seven hundred pounds of cat food within two hours. Wow. And then we, we trucked it up there with my with my car. <laughs> I don't know how that thing moved. <laughs> I don't either. That was a lot of food in there. Yeah, that, that definitely looks like it. So you know you definitely you're out in the community. We'll take the camera back because I think that's all we have in that little section. Um, you're definitely out there in the community you're, you're doing things to try to help others. Yep. Uh, you know, you don't hesitate to step in and get involved. And now Jameson's newest journey is being a nominee yes. for the Hero Dog Awards, which is really exciting. Um, we We're have, so honored. We have some hero dogs in our circle. Yep. Yep. We've had, and I wore my Harley shirt tonight because. Poor Harley. Yeah, Harley is the hero dog. He will always be the hero dog mm -hmm. so I try to tie it in um, so yes you are a nominee for hero dog awards and it's emerging hero category yes uh, which was actually the same category that Juno was in yes and um, tell us about that what how did that come about um, a couple of people have said it to me over the past couple of years and just with all the other stuff that we are doing um, you know, and I know Deb and Juno, and I knew that they were in it, and I wasn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't want to compete against our friends. No, of course so not. So the, um, I was just like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's really cool, and, you know, spend, you know, voting for Juno and stuff. Um, and then somebody brought it up again this year, and I said, you know what, it's been a few years. Let's, let's just yeah. try it and see what happens. And the support and the, the voting and the sharing is, I mean, it, it, it's almost overwhelming that that many people care so much to do it every single day and to yep. share it every day and it, you know it's just it's just an amazing thing to do and you've actually got some really cool I don't know what he's doing <laughs> no idea. he's got you've got some really cool um, oops reminders every day that you put up and Zach let's we have a collage the first Jeez. hero dog poster he's all stuck in that um, there's a collage of some of the ones that um, you've got together and you'll share these on a daily basis and you know with a little reminder and the link come here Jameson will <laughs> poor Jameson's all caught up in his, his his back leg is still caught up in the in the leash um yeah so you you put out these reminders every day and you post them on his page and you post them on your page and you know like you said everybody does like the sharing thing mm -hmm. and it, it's just it, it is really nice to see like I'll see my friends voted shared you know and yeah. everybody comments we've got some other hero posters a uh, couple of close-ups of these I like that one very cool um, next one up I like this one yeah I just find it to be um, I don't know it's it's touching we, we were having a discussion. About you were having we a discussion. <laughs> was he trying to drive? Because he kept trying to jump back in your car before, like right up in there. No, he he likes to think that he can help me drive. Oh, okay. But a lot of times he likes to knock the gear shift into neutral. Oh, that's always good, especially if you're going at any kind of rate of speed. No, we're usually going extremely slow when that happens. All right, so we have more. Let's go, Zach. Of course, I, I was partial to this one. I thought this was hilarious. Yeah, we were in the local news. Yeah, were it. you really? Yeah. That's cool. It was fun. Um, next up. That's it? Oh, okay. Fine, be that way. Uh, <laughs> we'll take the camera back. You can just go on his Facebook page and you can see all of them. Yep, you can go on, on Jameson's Facebook page. and I do have to admit, I get I get help with the pictures. I, don't, I, I can't take credit for all of that. Oh, but that's okay. 
Okay. You had a really cool one after April the giraffe's baby was born. Oh, that, was that picture really was so cute. Funny. It was like, I'm so glad I made it out in time to vote for Jameson. <laughs> Did you see the, the face on that baby <laughs> giraffe? It was hilarious. But, <coughs> excuse me. That was great. Um, so it's, you know, you can have a lot of fun with it. Yeah. Um, but there's a serious side to it. Yeah. And what is it that... What is it that you would say to the people who are voting for you? What What is it that you would like to accomplish with with the whole process? And if you were to advance now, there's the voting goes till May third. I'm first jumping end, all over yeah. here. Round one ends May third, and then they make the announcement for the next round on May sixteenth. Okay, so everybody's got to vote like crazy the next few days right. because you have to make that first cut before you right. go on. Right. The top three in each category then move on on to round two and then round. and then when that ends round three is the top finalists in each category there's seven different categories okay so it goes on the voting goes on until when oh geez i want to say uh like the third week of august yeah, if i'm not say mistaken it's almost fall by the time yeah. by the time the voting actually ends so just because you're voting for jameson now doesn't mean after may 3rd to stop um you want to keep it going right but what is it that you hope do, why do you want to continue why do you want to get there we felt like or i felt like that <sighs> when when that happened to him um you know if there, there was i i almost felt obligated because so many people helped to donate say, to save him that i i felt obligated to turn around and make people smile after because people were so traumatized and so bothered by what happened to him understandably so um, you know, we would get cards and letters and, and notes and messages and um, that I felt it necessary to, I, I was so sad that other people were so sad that we wanted to make them smile. So, you know, and when we, when we wrote the book, all we wanted to do was teach children who may not otherwise know that it's morally wrong to hurt animals. And, you know, if we could prevent one case of animal cruelty, then we feel like we've been successful. Right. But to have that platform I guess for lack of a better word um, in this award contest it's um, it, it just raises awareness and you know that see something say something be the voice all all those sayings that you know other groups have we don't necessarily have a, a, a saying I guess um, or a motto but whatever we can do to paw it forward whether we can teach children or teach other people or just show kindness you know and make people smile that's all we're really hoping to do so dirty. because I get to you know I'm the lucky one that gets to look at that little face every day yes and you are very lucky because he is so cute he is he's too I'm stinking blessed. cute well you know you're both blessed I think um, because without you uh, <coughs> you know uh, I, who knows yeah but, well I mean somebody I, I don't think that I did anything special that thousands of other people probably wouldn't have done either that's what I choose to believe well I was just lucky enough that I it happened you know, to be you true and I believe everything happens for a reason yeah so. absolutely it happened to be you and you know you guys uh, someone else might not have tried to do what you're well, doing that's and true. be out there in the public's eye that's true and you know make a difference yeah you know Jameson could have very easily have just sort of faded, faded into, into the, the sunset yeah. you yeah. know you knew where I was going with that yeah. faded into the sunset and just lived out his life but and that would have been okay if he was happy yeah but the fact that that did happen to him and it was so public and it was you know grab the media's attention and everybody's attention um, you know that's why I, I feel felt he's not just my dog he's he's everybody's dog to a point, I mean, no, you know, we're not going to be. Yeah, you're not him. sharing them. No, we're no, not having not sleepovers other places. Yeah, nope, no. he's not spending the night no. in anybody else's house. <laughs> he's not trying to, uh, you know, timeshare dog or anything like that. Um, but you know, he again ended up where he was meant to be. I think because yeah. you are, you are that person who is trying to take it to the next level, make his keep his story in the public's eye. Uh, some people wouldn't have done the Facebook page and you know yeah wouldn't necessarily have carried it on and, and continued so um, realistically the votes are important uh, you know it, it surely it's 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 a feather in his cap but that's not why you're doing it no you're doing it to raise that awareness and um, that would be I mean obviously it would be a great honor to, to have that title um, 
and you, you can't, you know, throw that away, but just the fact that um, we're doing something to try to help. Be, ever since that happened to him um, three years ago, other cases that have come, you know, across social media or, you know, TV media, um, I've noticed that people are actually starting to get some significant sentences for when they do harm animals. And oh, yeah. much deserved. There's a huge movement here in Connecticut. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Desmond's Law, um, but we'll talk yep. about that off camera. Um, and the lovely ladies from uh, <laughs> Desmond's Army will be probably here next week, so that'll be awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Nice. Yeah. Um, it's, it's definitely, it's something that needs to be addressed in all 50 states. For sure. Oh, I agree. Uh, so hmm. we're getting down to the wire. How much do we have? A minute and a half. So, Jameson, do you have anything to say? Do you want to bark at me one more time? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're just being no, cute. I'm good. You're just being cute. You want to? Uh, oh, um, we we actually brought you a couple of gifts for your your pets. Um, <laughs> we have some uh, of his pumpkin cookies. Aww. And with we the have little, some. With a little stamp on them. That's oh, these too are. Cute. Watch your fingers on these. The salmon and sweet potato. Watch your fingers. Oh. No, no. <laughs> no. Ah! We we have a young uh, a, a young uh, helper who is getting um. There's getting sorry, these over here up, via airmail. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, look, they're so pretty. They're nope. just as pretty. Um, they're just as pretty here as they are in the pictures, which is really cool. So I can't thank and you enough stuff. for all these. My guys are going to have a <laughs> great time with them. And um, thank you very much. Thank we you. are going to say goodnight oh. our way. <laughs> Can you do it? Peace, love, two I hands, and dogs. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. thank you for coming down. I really appreciate it. And good luck in the Hero Dog Awards. Thank you. We'll keep you guys posted. Good night, everybody.